Hello friends and welcome to another mini painting tutorial. Today we're going to be painting these adorable strawberries, these watercolor strawberries, um, using the watercolor strawberry mini painting kit, which you can find in my Etsy shop. It's adorable, it'll make it super easy to follow along. Um, it's got everything you need except a paintbrush really. So. Uh, let's get started. Obviously the first thing you're going to need is the strawberry mini painting kit or if you have the same watercolors um, you can follow along too. I've got a mini mixing palette. It's just this little round thing and it's um, reusable. It's great. Uh, paper towels, um, some water. I have these two beautiful synthetic golden tacklon brushes from Creative Inspirations. That's a one quarter inch flat and that's a number two round brush. I really love them. Um, then I've got a pencil and an eraser and a little bit of tape. So let's get started. So inside the mini painting kit, you get a couple things. So first is your 140 pound cold pressed watercolor paper with tape, um, getting started instructions, and of course the dot card. And this has our pre-dread watercolor paints on it that we will be using to paint our strawberries. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to peel the tape up from the back of the card so I can secure it to the table. Now you could, um, keep it looking like a little instant photo, like it's taped. Um, or we can, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove the big piece of tape at the bottom and readjust it so I have a bigger painting space because I kind of want this strawberry painting to be, I don't want this strawberry painting to be like a little instant photo. Um, so I'm also going to add a little bit of tape and tape down the dot card um, and my mini mixing palette just because when I'm, you know, got my wet brush on there, it makes it really... Um, easy because it's not going to move around. So I'm going to start out sketching the strawberries. I'm um, just a light sketch with this pencil and I'm going to put two of them on there, a bigger one and a smaller one. Um, and now I've got my eraser and I'm just rolling. I'm using a kneaded eraser but you can also use the side of your eraser just to erase your pencil marks and just keep it light. So the first thing we're going to do in terms of painting is we're going to get do a wet on wet wash in the back and I'm going to mix up a light pink. I'm going to add some of the bright pink and a little bit of the sap green. There's your color mixing tip. They're on the opposite sides of the color wheel, so it's going to mute your pink down. So I'm covering the paper in just water. This is just water. Um, and now I'm going to add the paint on top. And you honestly probably can't see it on camera. It's so light, and you might not even be able to see it while you're doing it. But once you peel the tape up when you're done, it'll make a huge difference. So having the paper be wet already is just allowing it to blend out. So once that's dry, I'm going to start the first layer of the strawberries. We're going to paint these in layers. So I'm going to start with um, the bright red. I'm going to add a tiny bit of green so it's not as um, bright. And now I'm going to go in with a really light layer. I'm starting around the edges where the shadows will be, under where those leaves are going to be too. And I'll use some water to blend that out and just fill in the strawberry. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing on the little one. I'm still adding a little bit of paint in the um, wet there for the shadows and just letting that blend together naturally and now I think I'm gonna do the same thing for our little strawberry So now I'm taking um, my damp brush and I'm using it to lift some of that paint up so we get more of a um, accentuated highlight on the strawberry, I guess, um, where the light's hitting. So I'm just getting my brush damp and wet. And you can see there, oh, you can see the border. Um, yeah, it's going to make a little bit of that border so you'll be able to see when you're done painting the light pink we put in the background. Um, so now I'm going to do the second layer of the strawberry, pretty much the same thing as before. I'm just mixing up a little bit of the pink, a little bit of the red. And I'm gonna fill in where our shadows, um, fill in some shadows around the edges, and then I'm gonna get my brush wet and wet it and blend it out so we don't have as saturated paint over the whole thing. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with a little strawberry. And it's gonna give us a really nice, natural looking um, wash of color. I'm also doing a little bit more lifting to keep that highlight kind of bright. I'm, you can see I'm putting a little bit of pressure on the tip of the brush just um, to pick up a little more paint. So now that's dry and I'm going over with another layer. This is much brighter, much more red. So I'm literally doing the same thing just with a brighter, darker color, more saturated paint. Um, blending it out with more water. So go around the edges and then blend out with water.
And so now I'm mixing our last layer. It's a much darker, a lot more pink. Um, and my hand is covering it, but I'm just going doing a really thin liner on the outside and then blending it in so it's not really as much of a layer as it is the last little shadows. So now we're mixing the leaves. I'm taking the green, I'm adding a tiny bit of black to maybe mute it a little, and a tiny bit of red. Same goes with the green. The red's on the opposite side of the color wheel, so we're gonna, it's gonna mute our green down and make it look a lot more natural. So now I'm just gonna go in and fill in where I sketched out those leaves that kind of come out from the center of the top of the strawberry. And we're gonna do, I think, two layers of these leaves. You can also see I'm dropping a little bit more paint in the center there, so it kind of bleeds out a little bit and it flows. And then, um, I think that's dry now, and we're gonna add in, actually, the paint is still a little bit damp, so it's not totally dry. Um, we're gonna add in a little bit darker of a green, I think, yeah. I'm doing this as a voiceover, so I'm trying to remember what I did when I painted this. So yeah, now we're going in with the center. We're gonna add a little bit of darker green in the center and finish up our leaves. Oh, and I'm blending it out with a little bit of water too. So now I believe I'm mixing the brownish color for the little seeds. Strawberry seeds are a weird color. It's kind of like a brownish, yellowish, white-ish color. And I'm just gonna mix a brown because it's really easy. Going with a green and a red and a black, just opposite on the color wheel and the black just darkens it a little and I'm gonna add in our little strawberry seeds there really cute going in with light pressure but I don't want to add too much water so they show up I did something funny with that seed in the middle there I don't know if you can see it so now I'm just adding doing a little bit of lettering it was really hard because it was tiny it was so tiny but the black watercolor here is really nice and dark and I added that little title in, and now I'm peeling the tape. And it's still kind of hard to see on camera because it's such a light color, but you can definitely see the border that we got from adding that light pink, which I think it turned out super cute. So that is our strawberry painting. If you followed along to this point, thank you so much. I hope your strawberries turned out adorable. Don't forget, you can grab the strawberry mini painting kit um, in my Etsy shop. It comes with everything you need. You can get it in the watercolor bundle. You can get it by itself. You can get it in the pretty or the Think Pink duo, which comes with another florally themed painting kit. And new product alert. These will be coming soon. These are the mini painting kit class bundles. So I've curated each bundle with pretty much the exact stuff that I use in these tutorial videos. It comes with a palette, those two beautiful creative inspirations brushes, and some other fun goodies um, to get you painting. And so it also comes with, you know, the link to these classes to make things pretty easy for you. So these will be coming soon. I don't have a launch date just yet for them, um, but these are going to be super fun. I'm so excited. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you have a great day. I will see you soon. Bye.